What you're looking at behind me is going to be the Aventura Special Light Sport Aircraft. Pretty exciting that these fellows have taken this design this far and now are going into the SLSA world of a fully built Aventura. Come on along and we'll see how she flies. Hello fellow fun flyers, Dan Johnson here about to go flying with this man and these men, Alex Rolinski, Lou Mancuso, and our photoplane pilot, Larry Morton. And we're going to go look at this particular airplane as it flies over the beautiful countryside around Deland, Florida. Base for Aero Aventura. Here's our photoplane that we're going to use today as we go shoot the SLSA Aventura. This one here is a kit built version. That's going to continue too. We're both seated in the photo plane right now. That's Larry Morton doing the flying as we taxi out for takeoff. You can see it's a beautiful blue sky day. Aventura is ready. We're ready aloft and we're about to go do some serious flying with these two airplanes, both Aventuras. But that one there is the focus of our attention. Alex Rolinski himself doing the flying and waving from his Aventura SLSA candidate. I say it that way because they are still in the process. The majority of the work has been completed for them to become a fully built special light sport aircraft. But due to the coronavirus and issues surrounding that, FAA's response time for evaluations of their documentation and construction techniques is still pending. We think that'll come along pretty soon here because they were going to be ready perhaps as soon as sun and fun, which as we all know, did not happen. After we got done, we came back in to Deland Airport where the Deland Showcase will happen this November. This is home base for Aventura and right next door to them, Aerolite 103. So this is a popular place to be for very affordable airplanes, fun aircraft, and now a fully built airplane like this one here, a seaplane from Aero Adventure in Deland. The aircraft has been around for many years. There's hundreds of these things flying, but every one so far has been a kit. That's about to change as the SLSA comes to fruition. The new Aventura SLSA to be here before long uses the Rotax 912 on it. These folks have tried just about every engine option you could have, so they know a lot when they came to do this one. Let's have a closer look. <laughs> Here you are getting a close-up of the Rotax 912 ULS 100 horsepower aircraft engine. It's a good choice for an SLSA because it's already met all the need for that particular level of FAA acceptance. However, Aero Adventure has worked with numerous other aircraft engine suppliers, including the Aero Momentum 117 horsepower aircraft engine that they called their S17 model. We've seen that in previous reporting. The company's also worked with Viking aircraft engines and has installed various power plants. So they've got this down and the 912 worked beautifully on this particular aircraft. This is one busy company down here that Alex runs. Actually, it's a collection of companies, one of which makes this handsome little wing bug that supplies air data information to inside the cockpit so it can run instruments or an iPad or your phone or pretty much anything. Clever idea. But they've also done the hard work assembling the multiple documents and doing all the testing and so forth that's required to get special light sport aircraft approval. That's no small task. They went outside and hired additional engineers temporarily to assist them through the process, but I have no doubt they'll get there and get a clean bill of health when they do. In addition to airplanes, instruments, and repair work of all kinds, the company also runs a flight academy. You need to just go to their website to get more information. There's the web address for you. But thanks for coming along for this quick look at the Aventura SLSA. We'll have even a longer report coming later.